Hello, Gemini. This is your daily read for July 20... Or, ooh, you might want to look up... Keep that on your calendar, July 29th. That's going to be something for you. Um, this is July 19th, though. <laughs> Take what resonates, leave the rest. Alright, Spirit, what do you have for my Gemini babies for today? We have the Five of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Swords, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's something that you're cutting free, something that's very disappointing. You feel defeated. You're like, I'm just done. You're like, I'm through with it. Like, this is the last time, and I'm going to have a new beginning. You are deciding to cut something free. Like, you're just really tired. It's dead, done, and over with, and you're through. You're like, I'm disappointed. I'm not going to go any further with it. So I'm going to start something that's new, something that's stable. I feel like that you could be a little bit, uh, you know, even though you're disappointed about it, you're not exactly sad. It's almost like you expected it, um, because you, you're cutting it out really quick. It's like, this could be like a repeat pattern that has taken place, and so you're just kind of through with it. It's like, I, I've already put emotion into it, I've done this, I've done that. You do feel like somebody's not showing up for you, you probably feel like you've shown up for them. So, with the Two of Swords, you're like, you know, I'm going to part my ways. I'm going to choose my peace. I'm going to choose my own stability. So, there is a new beginning that has taken place for you um, that is very stable. Something that is very solid. And by you choosing this path, you're opening up the gateways of the Four of Wands, of you ascending to the next level. And that's where you're making your judgment as to what you do next, as to where you go next. Bottom deck energy is Ace of Cups. You have options anyway. I feel like that there is there is something that you are cutting free. You probably have more than one energy around you that could start a new love. Um, and you're you're just deciding who. You're like, which one am I going to go for? Um, now, keep in mind, this does not have to be a love reading. This could be about a job. This could be about, you know, just choosing something. Um, you have more than one option to follow your heart's desire. And so that's where the judgment card comes in. You could be balancing the scales, trying to figure something out. Some of you could be um, in a legal matter. You don't have to be, but it's going to go in your favor. And man, are you going to love it. So, I mean, you are ascending to the next level. So, Spirit, what energies is around Gemini? What energies are around Gemini? This is pretty cut and dry. You're like, you didn't... You didn't stay in your morning phase for too long either. You're like, all right, this is it. I'm done. I'm through. We have Taurus, Libra, Leo, Virgo. Bottom deck energy is fire, which could be Sagittarius. Aries or Leo. Leo came out. So that's what I have for you today, Gemini. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.